Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So as promised, I'm going to show you how to make this basket. I've recently just shared the tutorial on how to make the little Easter eggs here and they go inside, but I'm going to make a, another version. So I'm going to make more of these as well eventually, um, or I might put something else in the other one. We'll see, but really easy to make. This one needs no specialty dies, no die cutting, nothing. And I'm probably going to end up personalise these, maybe have the name on a gift tag, or maybe put their name over this bit here. But you can see really nice and spacious. And obviously, you know, they can kind of like squash down and they they get, you know, wider. I've got this kind of like um, filler, but I might change the colour um, in this one to green because I think it might work a bit better, but or white. But really nice, easy to make. I've got a few baskets now on the channel, so I'll link up some other ones there as well that you might want to watch. But if you want to know how to make these, maybe you're just joining the channel now, I'll link that tutorial because that would have been the previous one to this one. But now I'm going to show you how to make this. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm also going to be using my glue gun. I just think it's easier, but I know not everybody likes to use a hot glue gun. So, you know, normal glues are going to be fine for this. What you want to cut is 16 one by 11 or one by A4 or one by 12 inch cardstock. It really doesn't matter. It just means if you're doing one by 11, well, you should still be able to wrap them under there quite easily. So it should be fine. And then you'll want two pieces for the wrap that goes inside. I'll give you the measurements for those in a bit and you'll want one piece for your handle. So let me just check the 16 there. One, two, yes, yeah, 16. I've then got these two circles, which I've just punched and these are two and a half diameter. So you want around about that. You can go a bit bigger if you want. I wouldn't go smaller because these fit, you know, just onto this side. And then these are from Gosh, I've had these a couple of years now. I want to say the works, but I'm sure they're in there again. But the pound shop, places like that do all this. And again, this was all from, I believe, the same as the works or the pound shop. That's the pound shop, the big barcodes. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be using the yellow on this one. So we'll do all that later. So first of all, with all of these pieces, you want to pop a curve. Kind of, let me just show you this one. So you're going to curve it like up to, well, just curve all of it. But then you want to at the end, go back out that way, because we're gonna end up wrapping that back around on itself like this, and that's gonna stick onto here. So just to give you an idea, that's the kind of shape, it's a bit like an S shape, a fancy S. So if you just curve all of it, but then just curve the end, and just kind of give it a helping hand like that. So you wanna do that on all of them. Then take one of these, and one of these, and you wanna, just add a little glue just along the bottom there. And then you're gonna sit it to the edge of that circle there. So you want it right up to the edge. And then same with another one. And this time you're gonna stick it directly opposite. Now the key is to make sure that they're straight. Then I'm gonna take another two. It's gonna kind of have a mind of its own. So it's gonna be like loads of tentacles in a minute. And then I'm going to sit this one on this side here. So it's all about getting them all equally spaced and sitting, you know, opposite each other. And that will give you your, you know, your nice shape. And don't worry about how this looks because at the end we're going to pop another circle over the top. So it's all going to look nice and neat. And then take another one. And this time you're now going to sit it over here again, keeping it right up to the edge. And then again, and this side. And you just want to keep doing that until you stuck them all down. Again, take this one. I'll just finish this layer because then you're just going to start it again. But you just want to make sure each one's slightly offset. Right, let's do some. And you're always working on the opposites there. Okay, so they're all where they need to be. See what I mean? It's kind of like an octopus now and then with its legs. Then take another one. And then this time, it doesn't matter where you start, but you're now going to, you're filling these gaps here. So this one I'm going to sit in here. And if I lay it down, you want to make sure 
but you've kind of got nice equal kind of like triangles like so okay and then you're going to do the opposite to that one so i'm going to come down here sit it in the same kind of place and again make sure that's the same and then they're also opposite each other okay so i'm going to carry on and do these ones here Okay, so that's all stuck down. I'm then going to take my other circle and put some glue on there. And you just sit that one over the top. You could add another one on the bottom as well if yours isn't looking too neat. Um, but no one's really going to look underneath anyway. Okay, so right now you've just got this crazy looking piece. Okay, so next we want to make the ring that's going to kind of hold it all together so you've got these pieces here so one of them is one by you know a4 whatever length it is that you've got and then i've got this other piece because basically we want to make it so that it is 17 inches total length once it's put together so you want this to actually go to 17 and a half and then I'm going to stick half over there, trim it, and then I'll stick the other piece over half of that bit there. So again, I'm just using my hot glue because I've got it out here. I'm just going to lay that one down. So you want this whole piece to be 17 and a half. I'm going to trim that off, but now I'm going to curve into this. This is all going to get hidden so you don't see the joins. glue on there and then just stick over half an inch at this side so now that is 17 inches then you want to mark three inches down from the end you might want to do that before you put them all together i think i've done all of them there yeah so just put a little pencil mark at three inches there it's just so that you know you're lining them all up so start off with one of these and you're going to pop it inside the ring okay and you want the pencil mark to be at the bottom of this here. So you can just hide the pencil mark just slightly underneath there. And you're going to stick it. So I'm popping my glue just above that section there. And then just hide that pencil mark. Like so. And then take the next one. I'm just going to add a little glue just there. And then just sit that one next to it again just hiding that pencil like so now if you want to make sure you're going to get them all in you could take the opposite one which is this one here and stick that one but you might not get it completely opposite on this ring so just work your way around and just make sure that you just sit them you know, next to each other okay like so so just repeat that all the way around Okay, so that's everything stuck down. So, I mean, you could just leave them like that. It's got a bit of a pineapple look to it now. And you can see the more you put in it, um, so if it's quite heavy, it will just expand out like so. But as long as you've got your tissue or something in the bottom, nothing's going to go through the gaps. But there's nothing to say you can't add more strips. So you could, you know, to completely cover all the gaps there. It was very eastery with these colours, I think. I like that a lot. I think it looks really cute. So next I'm going to wrap these under like this. And that's where I put my ribbon through. So it's completely optional. You could stick them like that and have that sticking out that way. You can just leave it. You could trim them off. And then it would look like a lantern. Um, there's quite a few you know, ways to change this, but what I did is just popped a little bit of glue on the end there and use your tweezers to bring that under. And then I lined up the end with the top of that piece there. 
and just bring that down. So again, I'll just show you this one. It's just a little bit of glue on the end. And use your tweezers and then bring up the top so it lines up with the top of this piece there. And that way they'll all be the same, like so. So I'm just going to continue doing that. Okay, so that's all in place and then I'm going to add my handle. You might want to double the cardstock if you know it's going to be quite heavy. So I'm just going to add some glue and then just choose. Basically, you want to pop it in between two. So I'm just going to sit this one like so. And then you want to go opposite there and you should have eight. I think it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So it just overlaps and that way you've got it smack bang in the middle so it'll be balanced when you've got everything in it like so and obviously the more that's in there that's going to slightly pull it down it's going to close the the kind of openings there it's hard to tell but look when i push down that can you see they kind of get a bit smaller but i think it looks really cool so let's add my bone but i'm thinking with this one i might just make the bow separately and then just stick it onto the front yeah I like that and then I'm just going to stick it actually onto there so you just see all of that so those are my finished baskets so now we can pop all these in there and it just looks so cool I love this so much so these are already filled up how much fun is that for anybody to receive but the kids are going to absolutely love this like I said personalize it put the name maybe on here or a gift tag and uh, yeah, there you have it, a basket full of chocolate eggs. I think it's wonderful. So I hope you've enjoyed this fun Easter basket tutorial from me. Like I said at the beginning, check out that one. It'll be popping up now if you want to know how to make these little chocolate, um, sorry, little paper eggs that have got chocolate inside. Everything else will be linked that I've used today in the description box below as always. You can also click on my face. If you haven't subscribed, just click there and then you'll be able to subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell and that way you won't miss any future tutorials. Thank you once again for watching. I'll see you all again soon. Bye.